hey, I know that we've been planning on doing more videos together and I think right now we all have a little bit more time on our hands. So in this video we're going to take one of those esoteric subjects that you never get around to trying out, something a friend suggested to me about two years ago and we're going to try something strange out. But before we get to that I want to do a quick public service announcement. So regarding isopropyl alcohol, now many people are making their own hand sanitizer with isopropyl alcohol and I know when I was a kid and you had 50% alcohol or less there was a bit of goofing around I did that I think could outline one of the dangers that we've been hearing about with people at home right now and making their own hand sanitizers. I used to think it was funny if I would dip my finger in the alcohol and then take a flame source and get that blue flame coming from a fingertip. So that is a piece of paper that is set on fire by the blue flame from a fingertip and I'm telling you don't try that at home. The last couple of videos that we did were flagged for dangerous content and so I thought by putting some warnings in we might be able to make up for that in this video. So isopropyl alcohol 50% if you're making hand sanitizer stay away from a flame source and imagine if you were making hand sanitizer and you had something in there that was a moisturizer that made it stick to your skin and then you were near a flame source how dangerous that could actually be. Let's get to the video. So today's video is definitely a what if video. About two years ago my friend Matthew said, well what would happen if instead of atmosphere in a bulb you filled a light bulb up with water and then plugged it into the wall? And I thought that is a terrible idea. We should definitely try that. So light bulbs themselves are very mysterious objects as I'm sure you know and we'll see if we get an unexpected result. So the first mystery is how are we going to cut a hole in a light bulb? I mean they shatter if you even scratch them. Well I'm going to scratch it a lot. My solution isn't the greatest engineering in the world but it'll do. Time to set the light bulb up so we can get a safe distance away. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! Now that was really strange. Well that wasn't as exciting as we hoped it would be. I wonder what the blue stuff was that came up from the bottom of the bulb. Not too sure. But something else has come along. I was doing some work for the folks at Full Spectrum Entertainment using liquid nitrogen. Now if you're not familiar with liquid nitrogen, most of the air that we're breathing is nitrogen. If you get it cold enough it turns into a liquid. But we're talking minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. So what would happen if we filled our bulb instead of water but with freezing liquid nitrogen? Shall we find out? Filling it up. So when that freezing cold liquid nitrogen hits that red hot filament it's going to turn straight back into a gas and it's going to expand. That is the definition of an explosion. Three, two, one. Whoa! What is that? That is completely amazing. The filament is being protected by the inert liquid nitrogen. So those results were really pretty unexpected. As long as the filament was submerged under the liquid nitrogen it doesn't seem to burn out. I think we ran that for as long as 20 minutes when we were experimenting and it was absolutely fine. So it seemed like if you had a large glass vessel probably or plexiglass vessel and you had a filament at the bottom and you filled that with liquid nitrogen you may get a beautiful glow and then some fantastic fog effects. Definitely take into account your engineering knowledge if you're going to try anything like that. You wouldn't want to have a liquid nitrogen spill and you certainly wouldn't want to have 
an open electrical circuit anywhere where someone could come in contact with it. But the effect, as I said, and as you saw, was really very interesting. And I think there's probably some experimentation still to do. So now for the really dangerous part of the video, we're gonna have to return today to the real world. <laughs> I'll see you next time. And try it, yeah. <laughs> that looks absolutely bizarre. Okay, cut it for a second. <laughs> <laughs>